back to the slow folk. Well, we got ourselves the last round of our team challenge. Yeah, it was only a three rounder. We're currently 2 0. Make sure you check out the other parts. Had some really fun games and some really decent gameplay for myself, which doesn't happen too often. So make sure you check that because <laughs> it doesn't happen too often. Make sure you see it in the flesh. But we're going on to round three. Now, I knew looking at the standards, there was two decks we could have matched here, right? We could have matched. Either a welder box, a bit like a sort of turbo welder opportunist box, I called it, an Omnipoke profile the other day. Um, or we could have matched an ADP style deck. That list was a bit different. They play like Aurora Energies and maybe Tag Calls as well. Oh, it's open deck list. You can see everyone's deck list. So. Um, I probably want to see the welder box in all honesty because um, we do play the Zigzagoon for the um, Reshizard. And I'm just much more comfortable around welder decks, you know. They they they're gonna have to slam down to Denes and Crobats and you know all that good stuff, stuff that we can just you know easily KO. So hopefully we match the welder box, um, and we did. <laughs> so let's have a quick look at the list before we get involved. So look at this list. I go with opportunist box because they just try and take poison and cheeky raids. Right? Like you got Cramorant to just you know take the Dene uh, KOs. You got Dub Wolf for late game. You got Charles to try and you know ideally get the 300 um, turn two in KO ADP. You got Clown just to you know go nuts if it ever comes to it. But looking at this list, like, like I said, you've got Crobats, you've got uh, two Dene, we've Charizard, we can ping, you know, the other Corvus they might end up putting down. So I'm a lot more comfortable around this than the ADP mirror, I'm not going to lie to you. So we did match this, um, and let's see how we go on. Okay, so our opponent was uh, choosing to go first, so let us go first. We're going to hit him with that good luck. And obviously, if we win this event, if we win this um, match, I should say we do win the event, we'll be the only 3-0 in the room. So that is good. And I want because I want that playmat, man. I want that playmat. I like exclusive playmat. It's not good enough to win League Cups or get the top eight ones at a regional. But this this, this could be one that we get, okay? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, so that wasn't that was the chair, by the way. See if I can do it again. I wasn't farting. Hold on. Oh no, I can to do it again. <laughs> I promise, I promise. Okay, so our opponent leaves the wall. Um now, can Zation one shot a dub wall? Uh, so it's got an effective 240. Yeah, it can. Okay. So, thinking about doing a turn one more while, clearly here. Now, we know that they play a whole load of basic Pokemon that we might be able to ruin their day with. But as it stands, our hand really isn't too great. You know, ideally, when you play ADPC, you turn one, your priorities are ADP energy, then getting out of Zation. Our hand, as it stands, now doesn't do any of that. So, <laughs> we probably have to be a bit boring. And get out the Dene. Um, yeah, we have to. Yeah, <laughs> don't get cheeky, Shay. Now it is kind of sad that we have to get rid of our Leon because Leon is one of the ways we can hit into that Charizard. But you know, uh, no, well, normally we could just Elder Grass the Leon when we needed it, right? But obviously, of course, Elder Grass is in our hand too. We have to get out the Dene. Um, get rid of all those cards. It's a bit sad. Debating whether to <laughs> bench the Elder Grass and switch into it there because it's an easy card to retreat. Um, I wonder if that's, is that actually something we're gonna do? Um, doesn't look like it. We have to get rid of a switch as well. You see, I don't want to get this age slash stuck in the active. Okay, so this hand's a little bit better. So we can now get energy onto ADP. Um, and then we have Intrepid Sword. I mean, apart from the um ADP, I mean, our hand actually isn't too great. So hopefully, Intrepid Swords finds us some good cards. Now, we know that our opponent isn't playing hammers looking at the list, so. You know, we get energy to Zacian and we get energy to ADP. We also have Balloon for the Aegis Last as well, which could come in handy. Um, we get more while off the top, a boss's orders and a Balloon. So that's a yikes. <laughs> that isn't too great. Um, our opponent puts Giant Half in play, gets out too far. So that hand is massive. Uh, so they did have a Jirachi in their hand. Uh, there's a switch. You could argue them leading double ball. Probably not a card that would come down against ADP too often, apart from from finishing the game, because obviously it is in Zacian range of being carried after an AC. They don't play big charm, so there's a quick ball. Okay, so they bench Mewtwo, that gets back. Nothing, interesting. They probably just bench it in just so it's in play. So they can scoop up net it later, I'm imagining, because they're going to get out to Dene, which they are. So let's see, if they, did, did they have any basic Pokemon in the hand? No. So it's a good thing that we didn't go for the Morwall. Funnily that they activated half and then just binned away all the energies. Now they're down four energies, I believe, and they really didn't need to be. So that's an interesting line of play. Um, they have their reasons. They play. They, they do play four crystals, so maybe they want to increase their you know outs to draw another card. They can just crystal. 
but they only do later. That seems fair. They attach a dual wall. They haven't played support yet, did they? No, there's a, there's a Bacephalon. <clears throat> and then a pass from our opponent. Okay, so. We get Cherish Ball off the top, which is nice. So we can, like, Air Balloon active. Air Balloon something else. Um, energy Switch to AD Slash. We get a free retreat. Well, we can retreat, I should say. Um, and hopefully get an AC off this turn. That seems rather fair to me. So we shell, energy switch, bombization, so a good thing we hit that saucer. Up to age slash. We can boss, we could boss. Uh, boss doesn't really do us like that. I mean, we can boss up the Dene, sort of set him back a turn. Um, is that actually what we choose to do? I don't know how impactful that would be. Uh, we cherish border, we got a Dene for sure. Now, do we play that boss's orders? Where would it go into? The Dene? Yeah, I mean, they've, they've only got a free card hand, so. And they didn't play support last turn, so I imagine they hand can't be that great, so I think that's kind of fine. Uh, we miss water. And like, we can go crowbat hunting. Um, I think I might just check now what's in deck. No, don't check what's in deck. I think we do go crowbat hunting here, right? Uh, so we've got two spinner. And then I think two waters in there as well, right? Um, we've seen the spinner. Okay. Again, so apologies if I'm looking off to the side here. So I'm looking at this monitor. I can't use the monitor for this. Don't ask why. It's really weird. Area is a bit weird. So then we can qu quick ward away. Um, so Zigzagoon isn't in deck. I've just realised that. So <laughs> I don't think I realised that when I was playing. But okay, we get water there. So whoo! Crowback coming to the rescue. And that's what ADPZ does. Just dig, 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 dig until you get that to that uh, AC. So we get the AC. We've got the Dene in the active. Uh, we actually haven't got energy to attack next turn. But I guess we do have a mind. We've, we've absolutely torn through resources, I should say. But um, we're in a good spot. For sure, I like where we are. So our opponent attaches, retreats into right chicken. They've only got a free card hand, so I'm sort of hoping that, you know, making them attach there might make them miss something, you know, make them, you know, make them do extra things. You know, make them play how they don't want to. You know, it's always helpful, how I found. So, our opponent hits a switch. Probably not the card they want to see. I don't want to see. They probably like, I mean, if that's the only option they've got, they probably switch into like an Oranguru, if I had to guess. But that's the, uh, if you had to give up any of these cards, right, like, Oranguru is probably the one. So. And they probably have Risen. They might have a good card for their Primate Risen, to be fair. I mean, I'm imagining the hand ain't that great because they haven't really done a lot with it so far. But um, I could be wrong. You know, it's like with Welder, though. They just find a world like Bish, Backwash, for all of a sudden, you know, damage is flying everywhere. Okay, so there's the boss's orders from them. Rather annoying. Now we know the hand's trash. Oh, we get a spinner though. But then but then we can't attack. Uh we know that hand is trash. So do we want to Marnie that hand? I mean they have got a stellar wish available. Um If we Marnie, we put energy switch to the bottom of the deck. We only play three. I know we've seen one. We might have even seen two. I can't remember. So chances of us Marnie in and finding metal saucer, another energy, and an energy switch is quite low. I think we've seen two energy switches. So I think boss back into the Dene. Uh combo with an intrepid might be our play here. And that does indeed look like we're gonna is that, is that what we're gonna do? Do we energy spinner? Or do we hold that? I think we hold that right. Because that's like always in energy. Um not sure, I'm really concentrating here. We can take water, attach water. That seems fine. Take water, attach water. And then Intrepid. But in the age, had a two retreat class day. <laughs> Big geezer age slash, right? So we get energy, which we have to attach. We got a switch there as well, so that's fine. But well, we, we didn't have to attach it, did we? But we get the switch now, so we can definitely, hopefully, take some processes next turn. Let's say dog wall in the active, so. They had switch in hand, so that's two switches from them. I'd like to say two switches. Though they play Nesto, right? They play four nets. So let's see what this Stellar Wish can muster up. Now, do they play Marnie? They, I don't think they play any hand disrupt. Right? I remember thinking that. Yeah, they uh, don't play any hand disrupt. So hopefully now, well, well, we know that our hand is going to be safe. That's one thing about playing open deck. They only play one boss. I've just realised that's super interesting. Okay. Let's see what they get then. So they take a scoop up now. That must have been a tough choice. It took a while doing that. Take a scoop up now. Still no welder, but they can like 
uh, potentially, you know, reuse this Jirachi, right, with um, shenanigans. So there's a net. Here you go. Into Rachi. Now they can attach retreat or switch again. I don't think they've retreated this turn, have they? No, they just switch. So they can retreat. Get off another Stella with Jirachi. Now they filled their bench, which makes me think. I mean, well, the decks can't really see a super amazing high amount of cards with their bench full, right? They can't Crobat, they can't Dedenne. Well, they only see some three cards. So even if they do get off like a, uh, what's the best case scenario for them? I guess it could be a Fireball Surface, thinking about it. But, you know, a Revenge Blast, I mean, it's not really, you know, terribly impactful. Um, I guess they don't fit in their bench. Maybe them benching that Mewtwo at the start was, um, you know, clodded their bench a little bit. Oh, but here comes the Bicephalon. This, <laughs> this could be what I was on about. Uh, you could just go what world attached crystal. That's a KO, right? Oh yeah, got things to scoop on it. What am I on about filling their bench? They can just <laughs> so silly. <laughs> right, so there's the crow back. So they're probably back in their race now. So yeah, welder attach. Fire crystal is a KO. There's the welder. Oh, right, they attach to the back. Okay. Interesting. So they play four crystal. Maybe they didn't have enough energy. Fireball surface would have been nice there, so. So we can attach energy to Benzation. Now we've seen their one boss, so we're safe. <laughs> so um, we know we shouldn't be getting bossed again. I don't, I don't think I realized that when I was playing though, so. Oh, I leave my energy on, so then I guess so we can um, ultimate race spread. That's actually quite clever. That's <laughs> well done, tournament mode, Shay. Yeah. Well, we've only got one energy in deck though, so. Oh, we take it out. Oh, and then we mine it so we can attach it with. Um, okay, that's fine. A little bit of depth in there. We get a saucer. How many have we got in our bin? We got three. So that's actually nice. So now we can start spreading the love. Then we got a boss sword as well. Start taking out some threats. Take down enemies quick. Bang. If we take two prizes and we attach two energies. One on Zacia and one on Aegis Slash. Here we go. Take two prizes. Uh, Aegis Slash can't KO Dedenne, right? No, it can't because of resistance, but it can KO on Guru or Mewtwo. Here comes Double. Now, I wasn't sure at the time whether ADP, uh, uh, Zacian can KO Double, but I know it can now. <laughs> it's got, what, 210 plus 30 for the abilities. It's only got 240, so um, it would survive a Brave Blade if you haven't used AC, uh, but we have. So a sort of revenge blast from them is like super risky because uh you know we can just okay so there's the rest from Charizard. Now uh, that is a scary Pokemon for sure. That Pokemon can take a fair few prizes. They can revenge blast now, they can weld or attach that Charizard. Uh, and what that would do, if we didn't have boss, <clears throat> it then leave it so where that um Charizard can KO us, right? With a uh, flare strike or even GX. And uh, then that Charizard could then KO Dozation as well, because we're not going to get first hit on that. So that's scary. And we haven't got a Leo anymore. We haven't got a Zigzagoon. So we can't one shot that. That Charizard is mighty scary. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Let's see what our opponent does. Uh, but we have got a boss. So we can. Oh, they only attach one though. But I guess they can attach. Yeah, they can roll to attach you next turn. So they go for the revenge. But we have got a boss, so we've got ways around it. We can ultimate rare now, if we like. Um, that's probably the play. Um, we can KO active, go down to one, that's probably not the play. We can energy switch, energy switch, switch, um, attack into Angu. I'm not actually sure what I do here, to be honest. I think uh, you can argue boss's orders into that Reshizard is fine. Um, cause it forced them, it forced him to retreat or switch, and we've seen a fair few switch from our opponent already. They do play four. Let's see what we do. We go after the crowbar, go down to one point. Uh, okay, we take three points. Oh, okay, wait, I, I forgot about that. So now we've got a very high chance of taking Zigzagoon out of the prizes. So hopefully, we get it. Oh my lord. Okay. okay. We take Zigzagoon out of the forest. It's not everything's fine. We're going to see exactly what Zigzagoon was meant for. If we didn't get Zigzagoon out of the forest, let's have a look. So we, they, they take KO with active. <clears throat> um, then we like, what, 
KO, we hit with Aegislash and then KO with Zacian. I think we would. Does Aegislash two shot? Aegislash does two shot, to be fair, but then. So what? They take KO of ADP, we come in with Aegislash. Yeah, no, that would work, to be fair. It'd be a long way around, but that would also work. The opponents in a spot over here, they start to actually find World of Energy. Like, you like, just assume that these uh, World of Decks have it, but. Um, they've only got a, well, they've got a two card hand, apparently, because one of those is a Jirachi. So. They've got a stage in play, but they've been tearing through their energy as well. We haven't seen a crystal from them either. So, there's a switch. So, they're going to dub wall. Yeah, so, that is game for them. For us, unfortunately, for them. Uh, they played it well. Um, they just didn't really have the hottest of starts from Wilder decks kind of need to don't they in all honesty so I'm just trying to work out I'm like wait Zacian does definitely KO <laughs> the war right it definitely does um you're right Burts it does well done I've never come into this scenario before hit with a wild player we're gonna show them the zigzagoon there just to you know just to just to show them you know uh, and just to make sure we actually get the KO here as well but uh there is the brave blade uh for 230 that is a KO and that means we are 3-0 we won the event, very good, so I can represent the certain colorful Pokemon League at the next leg of the challenge or whatever the tournament you know, circuit is. Um, and I get a nice payment in February, that's the main thing. And I got some TCGO packs as well. Thank you so much for watching, you have the more video voltage, depth profiles, gameplay, comedic videos and tournament games. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me, okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.